and it doesn't really make much sense if it doesn't feel like you. You know, you can say, oh, may all beings be happy and free. But if you're going out and acting the opposite in the world, you can say that all you like. It's just a performance. It's pretentious. It's disgusting on so many levels. And again, this is that whack on the back of the head that I feel every day. Oh, let me go and share yoga in a way that feels better. Because yoga is awesome. You know, it's not yoga's fault. <laughs> yoga is awesome. People get weird. We all get weird. But hopefully we can stop each other before we get too weird. You know, thankfully, so many people got canceled last year that were being really bad, really criminal, really gross. Hopefully we don't just invite them back into our lives again. So when it comes to healing, it's an inside out job. But really, when you strengthen your relationship to yourself, you'll have more confidence to not let people or ideas in that are abusive. You know, if you have the same pattern, oh, that teacher really let me down. Let me go find another teacher. If you're leaning and leaning and leaning on folks that make you feel dependent, you know, not so great. <laughs> for whatever reason, you know, my parents probably deserve all the credit for this, but I was a suspicious little child, you know. <laughs> I was the kid in kindergarten that said, I don't know about that. You know, my kindergarten teacher, for some reason, really thought that turkeys had four legs and it was Thanksgiving and we were all painting these turkeys at our desks or whatever. And I remember Mrs. Robinson came over to my desk and I had a turkey painted with two legs. And she said to me, Tara, why does your turkey have two legs? And I thought, huh, this is an interesting process of reasoning. So she's having this discussion with me asking how I know this, you know, not just that it's a fact. And I said, well, Mrs. Robinson, I actually know that turkeys have two legs, not four, because my grandmother has turkeys on her farm. And when we get to visit her, I have seen the turkeys with my own eyes and my own presence. And I know this. And she didn't like that. <laughs> she wasn't trying to figure out how I knew this. There wasn't a process of elimination or context clues or any of these things that I had somehow figured out. My parents had taught me at a very young age. She had actually thought that turkeys had four legs. I, at that moment, I, I realized that I was in a hostile environment, a hostile situation, and she grabbed my little arm and she drew two more legs on my turkey. And I thought, Oh my gosh, she has now defaced my painting. And I have to go home and explain to my mom why I think turkeys have four legs. And she's going to think that I'm some sort of clueless little child. And that happened. I went home, got off the school bus. My mom said, let me see what you did at school today. I rolled out my little painting. She said, Tara, what's wrong with you? You should know this. So I had to explain my case to my mom, which again, this is such a good life lesson in healing. I said, look at these two legs that obviously I drew with my own steam, two legs, kind of, you know, five-year-old wibbly legs. And then the other two legs were actually drawn by Mrs. Robinson grabbing my wrist with a lot of force and tension and assault <laughs> and <laughs> making two very stiff lines and I said see the difference one came from me and the other came from somebody creating a trauma to me <laughs> but now I have this story so here you go